الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين السلام عليكم ونحمد ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعود بالله من شر أنفسنا من سيئته ما ندينا أما بعد الله we glorify him, we praise Allah, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the benefit of this Ramadan. I mean, I'd like to say something about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with Ramadan and divided it into three parts. And the first part is for mercy. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us Ramadan, and it is rahmah in it, is mercy in it. And this mercy is abundant and multiplies all of our good deeds. And it is so abundant, this uh, merciful blessing that Allah has given us that, you know, if we could see the abundance of it, it would be like rain or froth upon the ocean. It would be uh, so abundant that we wouldn't have hands to hold it, we wouldn't be able to catch it. If we had to uh, look at all the benefits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us, we couldn't even contain them. We, we don't realize that Allah benefits, benefits us in ways that we don't even realize. He blesses us in ways that we don't realize. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us what, what we ask for and what we need and allow us to see the benefit that he gives us and to become grateful for it. I mean, the next part of Ramadan, the second third of Ramadan, is for, for forgiveness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he... Um, he wants us to learn taqwa during this month. And one of the things that will perfect us in terms of um, our practice being accelerated is if we make tawbah, that if we actually turn to Allah and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us because we've stopped doing the evil things that we were doing or the wrong things that we were doing, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us, to take that thing away from us, to remove it, to um, even remove the inclination for us to do it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, give us strength and power to withstand the temptations throughout the year that we receive. Um, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who gives and gives and gives and he forgives and he forgives and he forgives. I mean, the last third of the month is escape from the fire of hell. And all of you who knows anything about Islam knows that the final objective is paradise. So obviously this is an important factor that these last 10 days of Ramadan, that you seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the last 10 days of Ramadan, seeking escape from the fire of hell. This is Allah's fire, which is 70 times more hotter than the fire that men have. This is not the fire that we create on earth or that we um, pass around or we use in manufacturing a blast furnace would not even compare to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking about. He's talking about the nar. This is Allah's fire. This is the fire of hell. This is the fire that consumes men and stones. It's nothing for us to understand, but a small thing that, you know, we know that we have a fire on this earth that can break down rocks and turn them soft and liquefy the ore in them. Well, Allah is telling us this side fire, you know, eats that up. And that we have to ask Allah small dollar to save us from this and make us worthy of his rahmah, his forgiveness, and escape from the fire of hell. May Allah benefit us all. And I ask Allah small dollar to give those of my family members who aren't Muslim the hadayah, the message, the guidance. I ask Allah small dollar to make those of my family members who are not Muslim become Muslim. This is the great month to do it. Those of you who are on the fence, so to speak, come on. No time like the present. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to inform them, send someone to inform them, have them, inshallah, believe and 
may it emanate from their mouth and their limbs. I mean, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to protect all my family and loved ones and to give them strength and hadaya, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive them and have mercy on them. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless the children, especially because they're the future. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the reward of being able to guide them and give them good advice to not see how during these different difficult opportunities and difficult uh, situations and events that are pretty much our everyday occurrence uh, of late. Allah knows that we have this inability to see into the future. So Allah guide us and keep us and protect us. I mean, assalamu alaikum, Ramadan Mubarak.